Here's five things I don't like about my Cayman GT4. So here is my 2021 GT4. Um, it's a brilliant car and spoiler alert, I like most things about it. It's absolutely mega. But if I were to be picky and pick a few things I really don't like, here they are. So first one is the factory exhaust. Not looks wise, I quite like the factory tips. Nothing wrong with that. What I hate is the design of it. So when it first starts up and you have the exhaust button on, it opens it loud. But when it goes over some like 1500 RPM, it closes the valves and won't open them again till 4000. Doesn't matter what throttle input you have or what setting is on the exhaust button, which is a bit stupid. So that's the first thing. The second thing is it has OPFs. So although it sounds pretty nice for a stock 21 car, it's not loud enough and it's a bit annoying. So I've actually put a new exhaust on and it used to sound like this. But thankfully, now it sounds like this. The other thing I find quite annoying and I don't like about the GT4 is the front splitter. So it's quite low, easy to scratch, bit of a pain in the bottom. Um, luckily, it's about two, three hundred pounds for a brand new one and it just clips on. So. Not hard to change, but a bit of an annoyance. Third thing I don't like about the GC4 is the frunk. Now, although it's a really good size and you can just pop it open, I'll show you what I mean. So you can do it off the key fob or you can do it with this. Problem is, like most bonnets, unless it's like a mini of the double pull thing, so you have to fiddle around under there just to open it to get whatever you want out, which is a pain. And then when I close it, I have to use my... Uh, on the Porsche badge. There were problems, I know, but I just wish to do like the BMW system on the minis where you just pull the handle twice and it's open with no silly catch. That would make more sense, especially as it is the main storage part of the car. Yes, there is more at the rear, but it's a lot easier if you can just use the front one as it's a bit bigger anyway. The fourth thing which annoys me about the GT4 is, probably a bit silly, but you open the boot and you've got all the storage in here, which is pretty good. But if you want to see the engine, you can't. It's a little bit annoying for a car like this with such a special engine and you can't even see it. Wish you'd do like the option of a clear cover there or something to maybe dress it up but yeah a bit of a shame they don't do that so that's annoying and the last but main thing i hate is these pockets here because they're really silly to reach you've got to try and reach around here to get to them and again if you open the boot and you try and get them to be here there's still a pain to reach because you have to reach right across I don't know why they didn't move them further back and put the speakers further forward. At least it's a bit easier to access then. But again, I'm being a bit picky. The fact that you've got big, usable, deep pockets there and some good storage in this type of car. Can't really complain. Compared to a 911, the Cayman's a lot more practical because you've got the front storage, which 911s have too. But you've also got a decent space in the boot, which is good. Um, no, space, no space behind the seats, arguably, but that's a bit hard to access, so I prefer it this way. So, there you go. Five things I don't like about the Cayman. I mean, in reality, fair wheel problems. I know the wheel really small, and it's a brilliant car anyway. But just little things I wish maybe had been designed different or something you could have a bit more choice. Like the front lift, um, which is available in 911s, would have been much better if it was available in a GT4. Because it's still got low clearance, but they don't offer it as an option. Why? Why? So silly. I actually know there's a company that does a retrofit one, so you could have it fitted, but why don't Porsche offer it? Anyway, a few silly things, but overall, really good a car.